There's a lot of climatic issues in South Australia. It's the driest state and the driest country in the world. Most of the past 20 years have been very dry spring winter, so that really is impacting on the growers' bottom line. If you don't have a plan of what the year is going to unfold, you might make a, a, a poorer choice. The forewarned is forearmed project gives us a tool that we can go to to actually increase our knowledge of predicting the weather. So to understand whether the weather patterns in the top quintiles of, of the program, we can sort of see there's more likely that an extreme is going to come. It just gives us a more of an indication um, that we can plan for it and we're actually more focused then on what we're doing. So we know that we've got to make our irrigation scheduling last that long. We know that we may have to go grab a little bit extra water to finish the season off. It, it plants the seed in your mind that I need to be wary of this and what can we do to try and combat that on the way. So for example, this you know spring, we've, we've got a wet spring um, and if we can know in advance what the rest of the spring and summer is going to be like, then potentially we can be using less water than we needed to be. So yeah, I just put Janunder in. So above medium, three millimetres, so yeah. So it might be starting to dry out. So normally you wouldn't see that, you'd just be going, oh, what's going on this week? But when you're skipping out two weeks, yeah, it's saying it's probably going to be the same. Yep. It's a bit drying out now, which is good. These days, the shelf space for retailing, it's really hard to get your product in there. If the winery doesn't have good fruit, they can't make good wine, and then that doesn't end up on the shelf. If we can make that road to market and not lose a market because of non-supply, we actually can produce the best wine we can, and that comes from having better extreme weather data. If you're really dealing with those climatic challenges in the correct way, then you will get the yield and the quality that you're looking for, which is what we're all aiming for at the end of the day. I got involved in the Forewarned as Forearm project in the um, industry reference group. The idea was to get representatives from GRAPE to let the um, researchers know what climatic issues we had and potentially how the bomb could help us forecast those issues better. They really wanted to consult with industry before they started their research, which was great from my point of view. But I was surprised how you know intuitive and colourful and easy to understand it was. So I'd encourage other people to have a look at it and I think it'd be a really useful tool for forecasting weather. Not one week out, but three weeks out and even seasons ahead. It's a huge improvement in, in what's been before.